morning, grab your coffee because we are here for another What I Eat in a Day video on the WW Blue Plan. If you're new here, my name is Kim and yes, I'm on the WW Blue Plan. I have followed Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and keep it off. My goal here on this channel is to make healthy living fun and free of intimidation, show you some good ideas and any tips and tricks I have along the way, plus just a little chaos because I got two little boys, two dogs, and a husband, and I live in Indiana, just the hot spot of the world. If you like this kind of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome. Yep. I already had one cup of coffee and my breakfast, as you saw. So for breakfast this morning, I had just a pretty easy, low-key, nothing fancy breakfast. I had egg whites, with a slice of the Velveeta cheese, two pieces of private selection center cut bacon, and a small piece of sourdough toast. And the egg whites are zero on the WW Blue Plan. The cheese is one, the bacon is one, and the bread is two. So that's a nice little four point breakfast to get this day started. I have some good recipes planned for today, at least for dinner, so recipe. Like if you wanna get like crazy, it's a recipe but I'm going in to work a little late. I really have no idea what we're doing for lunch. So we might hit up the little to-go situation, get myself some carry out, but I'm gonna finish up this coffee. I drink my coffee black, sorry, no fancy stuff here, and uh, get to doing some work and see how this day is gonna unfold because to be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still working from home and it is definitely snack time. I'm opening cabinets. Hello. And I'm gonna make myself something I normally wouldn't have. Partially because I'm feeling a little stressed. So I'm, you know, just what of. So I'm gonna make myself a peanut butter and banana chocolate quesadilla. Let's do this. So my scale is preheating. I got my nonstick canola oil. Just zhuzh it. And then this beautiful Olay wrap, one point on all plans. This is where you can get a little point heavy. So I'm just trying to be very judicious, we'll say, with the spreading of the peanut butter. But what's great is like when the peanut butter gets all nice and toasty. You could also do PB too. And I thought about it, but it was in the back of the cabinet. And well, not gonna do it. So I got my little peanut butter. We'll call it two points worth of peanut butter there. You know, that's fair. Some banana, and we're just gonna grill that up. Here is our finished wrap. I put some bratty whip. Just gonna take a bite. Mmm, so good, so good. I also have over here, just a giant spaghetti squash that I cooked, and that's for dinner tonight. Well, lunch is definitely carry out because my husband loves me so, so much. Mwah. So he got me my favorite, favorite, which is chicken pho from a local restaurant. So this is how it comes. Rice noodles, some herbs, some bean sprouts, some of the sauce. I have no idea what it is. And then you have the most amazing broth in chicken in here. And then it's just kind of like DIY. So I like to dump. You just kind of throw the noodles and the noodles are the only thing I count with this recipe. Recipe. I made this myself by calling the pho shop. So I throw the noodles in and then I just throw a little bit of the broth on top and that'll help kind of separate the noodles. You can use a fork or chopsticks, whatever you like. And then I love to go in, this is some, I don't know if it's regular basil, Thai basil, I'm not being fancy. You just kind of rip it up. It's so good. And so this is just a very like herbaceous, flavorful chicken soup. And it's perfect on a day like today because it's been kind of dreary and rainy. It's spring. And I guess we had April snow, so we're having May showers, like whatever. So I'm gonna do that. And you can kind of customize whatever you like. So if you didn't like the herbs, you wouldn't have to use them. And I'm assuming that every kind of local place is different. We live in an older neighborhood that has a ton of amazing ethnic restaurants. 
And so it can be challenging when you're following WW because you don't know how much everything counts and how they make it, but you just kind of wing it. And so because I'm on the blue plan, I don't count the chicken. I'm not gonna stress about the broth. I'll grab my handy dandy chopsticks and then just kind of zhuzh it, zhuzh. I usually end up making a mess. So we have some water boiling. Mark is gonna eat some pasta today. He is also home as we kind of have been dealing with electricians and we have a delivery coming. So I'm gonna pour a little more of the broth and then I'm gonna dig in there with those chopsticks. There's also some onions, but let's see if you can see this. There we go. Look at that chicken, the steam. Oh, just so good. There's some onions, red onions and sliced green onions in there. And I will kind of like drink the broth as well. Now I tried to also order just one, but they said they couldn't do it. So I had to get two. I got some fresh spring rolls and these are vegetarian. They have avocado, carrots, rice noodles, or probably glass noodles, some other stuff in there. I don't know what, some delicious dipping sauce and I will eat one for two points. So this is my lunch. Mark and I are gonna camp out in the living room and watch this weird documentary on Hulu about Sasquatch because why not? As you saw, we had a swim spa delivered. So if you don't know what a swim spa is, it's like a giant hot tub, but the jets create a current of water that you can swim against. So it's part pool, part hot tub, part training, and it is going to be a game changer for my family. I just, I can't even tell you how excited I am. So we got an H2X Challenger 15D by Master Spas. And it's a local Fort Wayne company, but they sell all over the world. And so they're still doing work back there. It took, had a little heart attack when they were moving it. Cause it's a big, it's like 3000 pounds empty. And then it fits about 2000 gallons of water. So I'm currently waiting on the water truck. Mark has run out to get Yeti. She went to doggy daycare. So I'm snacking on some green beans because it is 4.09, so I'll be making dinner here in a little bit. While they were kind of unloading everything, I did have a bowl of grapes, and then two points worth of these Simply Cheetos Puffs White Cheddar. These are so good. You can have about like 15 for two points. Let's just sneak one for free. Mm. So that is what we're doing. So for dinner, I'm going to be making buffalo turkey spaghetti squash boats. So this is going to be like super customizable because my family doesn't eat spaghetti squash. I don't know that the kids will eat buffalo. So we're gonna kind of mix and match. I'm gonna cook up the ground turkey, put in some bell pepper, um, maybe some onion. I think I'm out of celery. And then I'll cook up the, all that together. I'll add some buffalo sauce for Mark and I. I have some Bolt House for your dressing and some blue cheese. So the only thing I have to do is slice open my spaghetti squash, which I cooked earlier in the day. I'll scoop out the seeds and just kind of broil it to get it all nice and yummy. So I will see you next time when I'm prepping that. <music>
my bell pepper and onions just cooking up. And I have a package of 99% extra lean ground turkey. And this is zero points on the WW Blue Plan. So you would have to count this if you were on green. But I'm going to go ahead and add that for a little mixture here. And then this dinner is super, super low point, depending on what ingredients you use. So for my buffalo sauce, I have Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo, and this is zero calories, so no points there. And then I have my Bolt House Classic Ranch, which is two points for two tablespoons. And then I have Private Selection, and then I have Private Selection Blue Cheese. And this is what will add the most points. So I believe if you do just half an ounce, you're looking at maybe two points. So this could be really be a four or five point dinner. I ended up counting the peanut butter is three points from earlier today. So I think I'm around seven points left. We'll have to see. Uh, and with a four point dinner, that gives me some good wiggle room for a snack later. So I'm gonna just ground up, I'm just gonna ground up this ground turkey. Cook up this ground turkey. And I will put some aside for the kids. So when we're talking points for dinner tonight, if you're on the blue plan, this can just be like a four point meal. So the ground turkey is zero points on the WW blue plan. Our bolt house is two points for two tablespoons. So you can get away with one point's worth of ranch if you'd like. We'll see how it kind of drills us on. And then the private selection blue trees crumbles. It's all in how much you want to use. I will probably use two points worth. And then when it comes to your buffalo sauce, this can add some points. But this Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce is zero calories. So this is why I bought it, which means no added points. So I'm going to let that ground beef cook up. Ground beef, it's ground turkey. I'm gonna let that ground turkey cook up and then I will set aside some for the kids. I made a whole box of pasta this morning. So they will just have some spaghetti with some ground turkey with some red sauce or my oldest loves spaghetti with butter and cheese but then I can put the rest with the buffalo sauce and uh, some ranch and some blue cheese and my husband can have that with pasta as well. Our ground turkey is done. I have the kids all portioned out. They're all very excited. We just had a water truck come fill up the swim spa. So I'm gonna, it might be a little character. I'm adding my wing sauce. I might've added a little too much. Can you add too much? Then I, I was inspired by a recipe. I will be sure to link it in the description box down below, but I am just winging it as I always do. So I'm gonna mix in some ranch so I don't burn my husband's face off. That seems like a poor thing to do. So I'll go ahead and just mixing that all up. And I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. I have, let's be honest, I have no idea what the recipe says because again, I'm just, just so much excitement here today. And I have a cookie sheet preheating too because that's how you do it. So I have my spaghetti squash here all cut up, scooped up. Give this a little stir just one more time, you know, cause what? So I'm gonna scoop this in. Now, I did not measure my ranch. We're just gonna call it two points and be done. And if I had had some shredded carrots or some green onions or some celery, I would have put that in there. And I also think a laughing cow cheese would be so good in that or like some cream cheese. I might do that for Mark. I'm saving some points. Ah! I just dumped some of that ground turkey all over it. So I'm saving some points because I want a treat. I really want a margarita. So we'll see. So a little bit of the private selection blue cheese. Just zhuzh it there. You can't see me. I could be, oh, look, Yeti's back from Jacob. So that's probably about two tablespoons. So I'm going to let this just warm up in my oven and then I'm going to microwave the kids stuff. And then I will show you the finished product. 
I lied. I'm starving. So let's go ahead and try this. See what this tastes like. Got a little fork. Yeah, that's gonna brown. I'm not even gonna play. Here's the finished product. My cabinet's open in the back. It is like enormous. So again, depending on how much cheese you have, it will be like two points for the blue cheese, two points for the ranch, and then everything else is zero points on the WW Blue Plan, and I am here for this. Well, it is dessert time. I'm Mark is letting in the dog, so that's the noise. Mark should come wave, but he's not. Is he? Oh, look, it's Mark. He's carrying dirty shoes. He's not gonna eat this. So I'm gonna make the three, two, one cake because I really want a big bowl of ice cream, but I have two points left for the day because I thought I had more and I don't. So mug, got a mug, spray, one, whatever. And then it's, that's your one. Actually, that's not the one. So two tablespoons of um, mixture that's equal parts, sugar-free yellow cake mix and angel food cake mix. And then you're gonna do three tablespoons of water. It is fancier if you use a little wine glass, you know? Um, and then you're just gonna mix this up with a fork. La, la, la. And then you're gonna throw it in the microwave for a minute. And you can throw in some like sprinkles, chocolate chips. I have none of that right now. And I was going to eat this angel food cake that I bought from Kroger. And it was like something my grandma always used to have and tell me that was good for if you're dieting. But we're not dieting, we're on WW. Duh. So this is 130 calories for one eighth of the cake. Low in fat, zero fat, three grams of protein. Why do I keep saying protein? Like you expect cake to have protein in it. Anyway, but one slice is like six points and it would just be so teeny tiny. So I'm gonna throw my mug cake in there, back there in that bowl right there. I have some non-fat plain Greek yogurt and I'm going to mix into it this skinny vanilla caramel syrup and I'm gonna dollop that on my cake. I'm gonna make it look pretty so the next time you see it, you're gonna just see this pretty little cake. You ready? Here it is, I made just a little cake parfait. So my three, two, one cake, my non-fat plain Greek yogurt and some ready whip. So this is, the way I counted it a long time ago was two points for the cake because I use sugar-free yellow cake mix and the angel food cake mix. The app says three, like what? So I'm gonna eat this. I'm like so hungry today. Some days, like, I don't know if you're like me when you don't sit down, you just like feel hungry. I'm probably just thirsty because I haven't drank my gallon of water a day. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for another What I Eat in a Day video. If you like this video, you like these kind of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Denali's barking because he is so excited for this What I Eat in a Day. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, do something you love.